We're gonna make a we're gonna make a review on this team, especially the four five one version two. Like I wish Delaney was further back a little bit more, at least defensively. Otherwise, yeah, there's some things that it's it's good with. We'll kind of see how it goes. Four one two one two wide. Ah, <sighs> this is my bogey formation, man. I just ne I never do well against it, so I'm excited to get my ass kicked. Good, Berkey. Good save. Good save. Yeah, I'm really dumb. I That should not have been any chance for him whatsoever. I was so bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. Gabby. A little bit of composure. Ah. Delay. How did that get through, dude? That's so bad. That's so bad. How did that ever get through? Oh, hello. Co Oh! Oh! Lucas! That's why I want to get him involved. Right there. Holy shit. That was disgusting. Both Costa and Lucas Mora just had their first goal contributions for the team. Good. Go run to... R what? Again, dude, that's like as much power as I normally do on a regular, consistent basis. Or, you know, if I can get the ball off a tackle, that'd be good. Yeah, of course, that's a fucking goal. God, Gabby is nuts. Gabby is, 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 he's insane. He might be one of my favorites. He might legitimately be one of my favorite players. Ah, uh, that's a lucky goal. That's a lucky goal, it is. So that position is open, though. It's, it's always open with those wingers. Like, that's such a bad pass, man. I see Delaney. Paulinho is a god. I love you. Gabby with two goals. Paulinho with a goal and an assist. Delaney with a goal and an assist. Lucas with a goal and an assist. The high pressure stuff, I'm not a fan of. With the, like when I come up against it in this formation, I can't seem to do anything. I, I can usually like dink it over to a center mid, but that's about it. I might have my left and right mids on on come back on defense. That could that could help us because again, we only have one player in the middle who's a center mid who's staying back while attacking. Sabios, I appreciate that. Okay, game. Are we just gonna make... Are we just gonna do everything wrong? Yeah, no. That needs to be intercepted 100% of the time. Because that pass was a horrible decision. There we go. I mean, the, the build-up play is there. It's just the timing of the players is not great. Gotta be you, Paulinho. Come on. Paulinho, that's you. That is you 100% of the time. It doesn't matter if I have you on balance. You have high to fucking defensive work rates. This has been open so often, we just can't do anything. Well, the host dominating possession. It really has been impressive. If they keep this pressure on, you feel the goal will come. Keep calm. No Maybe come on side, man. Dude, we have those shots! Literally. Just... Again, it's just fucking bullshit. Right there. That's fucking bullshit. I pass forward. Through ball. No, they don't do it. I make 17 tackles. No, they don't do it. Come on, Delaney. You still have to support. What do you want me to do there, game? 3-1 and one should be 4-0, oh, but we can't fucking do shit. Because the game decides no. See where I'm passing the ball? Because that's a through ball. Do you see where I'm passing the ball? This is a through ball. So why does he do it like that? 
Why does he pass it like this? And why is it not a through ball? And people are going to say, oh, well, it happens in real life. People do all the things right and they still lose. This is a, this is a video game. This is a competitive game where you are supposed to limit the RNG as much as possible. So if I do everything right and I still get punished, that is bad gameplay and that is bad game design for a competitive game. Now it's going to happen. It happens all the time in, in, in games. You can't limit RNG, like you can't get rid of RNG. You just can't, that's not possible. But it happens in FIFA so consistently where that's where people, that's why people think scripting exists. If I do everything right and I'm not rewarded, yeah, of course I would think something's up with the game. And then I can't even just fucking pass. Or I can't intercept that ball. That's not... He overran me. That should have been a goal. If it wasn't for bad gameplay, I wouldn't have lagged there. And that would have... Good. Good. Thank you. Those diagonal runs, man. Good shit, Taliska. Good pass by Jesus. The man's a fucking hero. Oh, laughing. Yeah, good, good chill music as we rage at this game. Everyone's using a 4-3-3. This is like the third one I've seen in, in five games. What pro or YouTuber, you know, recommended the 4-3-3? Someone had to have. There's no way. There's no way it's a coincidence. God, dude, that's so lucky. Like, that, like the idea of it is where I wanted to go, but the fact that it came off that way was so stupid. Paulinho? Good. Dude, I don't know why, but for some reason, when I initially started using Paulinho, hated him. Absolutely hated him. And now he's just fantastic. That's a pen. God damn it. Dude, Mukiel. Obviously, that was on me, but just, he has not been a good right back. He has not been a good right back whatsoever. Paulinho, man of the match, is really so. Jesus with two assists, even though he couldn't string together a pass in the last few minutes. Talisco, one goal, one assist. Four of six tackles, only four of five. Yeah, they did well in that midfield, fair enough. From the FIFA analyst, four, five, one. Maybe I just don't have enough players. You know, he's obviously a pro or FIFA coach, so he coaches pros. He's obviously a good player himself. I'm not like, oh, I, am, I know I'm not as good as him, but maybe I just need to get better. Maybe it's the players. Maybe it's not exactly my play style. I mean, there are some really good things with the 4-5-1. I just can't seem to get it to work. The 4-4-2 is the tried and true. I mean, I like it. It's been a lot better for me. And... Again, you know, again, four five one. Maybe it's just the players, or me, or the people I played, and everything like that. It's a combination. Who knows, right? But uh, just overall, factually speaking, it's just I, I can't really work with it. So, you know, four five uh, four four two. Mookie out that right back spot. Not a huge fan of him. He seems so much slower than eighty nine pace. He seems like eighty pace. Davies has been good. Paulinho. And Delaney run that midfield spot, honestly, super well. Taliska, I've honestly been a little bit disappointed with him. These are from squad battles, obviously. But I haven't been super impressed with him, which sucks because he looks good. Maybe I just need to use him correctly. I'm not sure. Paul, like I said, Pauline's been good. Jesus has been a stud. Lucas, uh, in the 4-4-2, the wingers, I don't think, get involved as much as they should. I wish I could get him more involved because of how good he is. He's so, so good. I'm a genuine fan of him after just a handful of games. And again, it's not as if he's bad. He's gotten goals. He's gotten assists. It's his positioning, mostly. It's his positioning that really gets me. And again, it's not so much that he's bad at positioning. It's just not what I want. Which, again, is weird to say. It's just not what I want. I want him to be playing that false nine striker, always be central, always be available for a pass. But at the same time, he's still a striker. Just because I have him on false nine doesn't mean he does not go into the box to be a striker. And so it's that mentality where it's like, 
he doesn't play that false nine role that well, which I want him to. So I just need to try him out in other spots, I guess. But, you know, it is, it is what it is. It is what it is.